Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about heart rate reserve as a tool to compare between athletes and between efforts. Uh, we're going to build on this tool because one of the things I want to help you do is uh, evaluate your race results uh, on a basis of fractional utilization. But we're going to start with the basics, build on it, and I think you're going to get a lot of value from it. So first up, this concept of a reserve. Uh, when we're maxed out, pretty simple intellectually, we have no reserve. We're at 100%. And as we come down, there is a reserve between max and wherever we happen to be. So the heart rate reserve is max minus resting. And for resting, I recommend you use seated resting. Sit in a chair, both feet on the ground, relax for a bit, use a heart rate strap, and sample. I use HRV for biofeedback to sample, but you can use any app uh, or any device you want. Now, your devices and the various apps and stuff that you use have all different types of what lowest resting is. A sample during the day, the average across the night. I recommend a direct sample. Uh, it'll be less uh, influenced by different outside factors. And you'll find that this seated resting is going to be higher than what you'd see for an average across the night. My gap's probably about five beats higher. And then I could be five to eight beats higher seated than the lowest across the night that my aura ring might pick up. But use that seated resting. Now, let's talk about different types of athletes because this is where it's really useful. Um, we've got myself and my son here. My son, five foot two, 100 pounds, small frame, hasn't hit puberty yet. So small frame athlete, uh, kind of a hummingbird profile is what I like to call it. His max is 215, uh, also with a higher uh, resting than me. Mine, more normal, 50 beats per minute, seated resting, 170 uh, max, uh, 55 this month. So my heart rate reserve, 170 minus 50, 120 beats per minute. Axel's heart rate reserve, 215 minus 75, 140 beats per minute. So what's a 50% effort for these two different types of athletes? Myself, half the reserve plus the resting, 110. Small frame athlete, half the reserve plus the resting, 145. So the same 50% effort has a very different uh, nominal heart rate value attached to it based on the athlete's profile. Something to bear in mind. I touched on deciphering low heart rates with an article I published uh, this week. There's more in there for you, but this is an important concept. But it's not just between athletes. Even the same athlete can have different profiles. And you need to use, if you're using this method, you need to use the max for the mode of exercise. So that article I published this week talked about how many competitive runners, well-trained runners, hop on a bike and they notice they're working really hard uh, to produce the same kind of heart rates that they see relatively easy for a moderate effort on the bike. Um, so bike seems a lot harder per beat than the run does to them. Well, what's a 75 effort? 75% effort. Well, we need to use different maxes. So the, a run max for me would be 170 beats per minute. A flat bike max in the time trial position, 155 beats per minute. So big difference there. And that shows up when we switch it into percentage of effort. So 75% effort run, 140 beats per minute. 75% effort bike, 129 beats per minute. So this is an example of it just sort of happened by chance with my numbers. But typically you'll hear this rule of thumb, take 10 beats off your run zones and that's a starting point for your bike zones. Well, this is kind of some worked math on it. So that's enough for today. We're gonna to build on this concept for you, but I hope it helps you uh, interpret different heart rates for different types of athlete, different sizes of athlete and different modes of exercise. Thanks for listening.